agency is going to hire somebody, dress them up in a mouse suit, and have them beat up your customer. But um, this is Doritos held a contest, develop an ad for the Super Bowl, and a bunch of nobodies created ads. I'm guessing the person that created this is no longer a nobody. So to close, we've got the old models of marketing, product, place, price, and promotion being replaced by something new. You create a consumer experience. It's not a place, it's any place. You don't necessarily establish a price. There are new price discovery mechanisms. And rather than promotion, it's more about engagement and about community. Or the new A, B, C, D, and E's of marketing. So, big changes. And we're going to talk about these uh, the rest of this afternoon. What is a movie? How movies get created and produced? How they get distributed? How they get monetized? And how they get marketed? This is, I think, a new paradigm. I'm allowed to use that word because I wrote the book, Paradigm Shift. <laughs> but a paradigm is a mental model. Paradigms put boundaries around what we think and they constrain our actions. And they're often based on assumptions that are so strong we don't know that they're there. We have a paradigm about what is a film. And it's a good one and it will continue. But there's a new model emerging. And when you get a new or a paradigm shift, you get dislocation, conflict, confusion, uncertainty, vested interests fight against change, and leaders of old paradigms are often the last to embrace the new. How will your company, how will your industry find the leadership to embrace a new paradigm? See, the irony here is if the video game industry is leading this thing, most video games are about pretty mundane stuff defending the earth from the alien invaders. And they lack the production values, the great acting, the great screenwriting, the great quality that the movie industry has established over many years. You hold in your hands the key to Cinema 2.0, if you will it. So this, I think, is a new age of the democratization of media. It's a new age of participation and of community, where people can now participate more fully in the economy and in the creation of content and media and in telling stories that engage them. A French pilot from the Second World War, his name was Saint-Exupéry, uh, he said, we should welcome the future for soon it will be the past, but we should respect the past, for it was once all that was humanly possible. We created this wonderful thing called the movie and there's nothing like it. But it's now possible to create something complementary. And another uh, Frenchman, Victor Hugo, said there's nothing so powerful as an idea whose time has come. I think the time has come for Cinema 2.0 and hopefully the time has come for you to find that um, leader within you to help bring about a new paradigm. One thing for sure is the next period will not be boring. So. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I just ask you to stay right here? Thank, thank, thank you, Don Tapscott. The time has also come to welcome Dieter Koslick, Bernie the director, the one referred to by Petra Miller as the other half of this Hello. collaboration. <laughs> who's made this possible and who wants to open up the Berlinale to new ideas and collaborative impulses. Will you say a few words? Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Dr. Hapscott. I bought already your book because you inspired good. me. I <laughs> only heard the last minute, but mm -hmm. I bought it. <laughs> so, where to go? Right here, please. Right here. So, um, I will... May I just say briefly, despite the fact that your cell phones are screens and that makes them even more entertaining, would you please turn them off? Thank you. Or they can turn it on again at the end. Okay, um, I just want to say hello and give you a quick hello. I'm coming from a very old red carpet. Nothing changed there. You know, I, I'm there waiting for the actors, waiting for the directors. The people are looking at the movie. They really like the movie. And next day you read a horrible story because one critic was in. So <laughs> this is the world I'm living in. I'm very happy that this will change. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Um, I just want to thank uh, certain people. I want to thank uh, Dr. Hans Hege. Can I stay here? Because I'm a little bit flattering of all these 50,000 red carpets. So um, I want to thank uh, Dr. Hans Hege from the Medienanstalt Berlin Brandenburg because uh, he supported these uh, Berlinale keynotes and also the Medianet uh, Berlin Brandenburg for the support. And of course, I'm very impressed and happy to have these high-level accomplished people here. I'm a little bit late because Mike Lee was there, so I shorten up, um, uh, I, but I just heard that you say it's nothing so powerful than an idea. Uh, this leads me to the place we are here in. This hotel was built 107 years ago, and it, after the Second World War, it was bombed. And as we are here in the death zone, because there, at the Ritz there was a wall, and uh, nothing happens up to 1989. What happens in 1989? Okay, the wall was down. And then this piece of land became the hottest real estate thing in the world. So Mercedes, a German car company, I guess you know, bought the other side where we have our red carpet show. And here, uh, Sony bought this whole area. And this whole ruin of this hotel was in a way because this modern architecture has to be built up. The new thing came up. So the Japanese, uh, from the Sony Japanese people, moved this whole ruin, 85 meters from there, to this place for $85 million. So what I want to say, nothing is so powerful than an idea. But if you have a lot of money, you can move a lot of things. <laughs> so thank you, and have a good day. And thank you for all for coming. Thank you. Vielen Dank. Don, sorry, can you just step? From, thank you. Thank you, Dieter Kosnick. Thank you. We're running a little behind schedule, so I'm just going to keep the questions very, very brief, but because we just talked again about money and you ended your remarks on the topic of monetization, give us the bottom line, if you would. What do the digital changes mean for the established film industry? Is this the end of studios and auteurs as we know them? I don't think so. I think that uh, we'll see a growth in entrepreneurism as small webs of, or teams of people can come together and have all of the capabilities of a large studio without the main liabilities, which are bureaucracy and legacy technology and legacy attitudes and so on. Um, I think that there will be an explosion of, of art. It's underway today and we're going to see more of it this afternoon. Um, I think we'll see um, an economic explosion as large numbers of young people um, sure still watch a movie but become engaged in interactive collaborative and compelling experiences where they get to be one of the actors and participators because that's the way they are as a generation um, so but overall I think it's a time quite change. specifically how is a filmmaker in future going to make money if he develops his film through a process of open source lets it be downloaded mm -hmm. changed around all for mm -hmm. free Where's the, where's the profit in it? Well, first of all, you can charge for certain parts of that. You don't need to open up the whole thing. Um, right now, we have films that you still are, are copyright and presented at a theater, but there's a whole open remixing capability that engage people in a community and that promote the, the, uh, the one-time presentation revenues. I think the film is going to become the billboard for ancillary rights in many ways. That the movie will be a source of revenue, but it will m more be an advertisement for all the other ancillary sources of revenue that surround it. And there's lots of money to be made in community and in collaboration. And one other thing about these young people that I've found is they will pay for value if you create value. The record industry failed to do that. It wasn't about young people stealing music. It was about an industry that failed to reinvent its value proposition. We'll have a chance to hear more about that, I hope, later on okay. at the end of the afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you.